We've got Cloudy's Easter Diorama Fun coming up after this. All right, Cloudy's. I think Cloudy's kind of go hand in hand with Cave Club. As far as I know, the animals look really cute and animal-y. And I think that they really fit in. There's two sizes. They have the regular size and they have the mini ones. I think the mini ones are more like Smurfs and they don't have articulation. And then the bigger ones have articulation. And they're really kind of bunny-like creatures. And they're all different animals, I think. I don't know, I haven't opened any. I've seen like ones in the store that were on display and stuff. Anyway, they're really expensive in Canada, but at some off-price stores, clearance for $3, I have been collecting these ones. These ones were 50% off, so I got them for $3 for the mini ones, and I kept buying them. I didn't even care if I had doubles because I thought it would be cute to have twins if some of them are the same, so I didn't even look at the codes, but I do believe there are codes on them. And then these ones, three dollars after things started opening up they were clearing off all of the stuff they had waiting in the store that whole time i guess i don't need scissors to open them i think they're gonna look really good in the diorama so let's have a cloudy extravaganza okay so in the box uh oh this is something that i'm not happy about because I did buy one. I didn't know that there was extra things. So that means I bought one that I don't get all the extra things with. This is what the packaging looks like. Bunnies. And here we have, it looks like, I don't know what this thing is. Okay, I don't need that. But this looks like it's probably fun. That was a weird place to have hair tab. Oh, it's all the accessories. Okay, that's really sad. So I've got this hair, and I've got these glasses. Cute. And I got a cloud. I got a little functioning purse. Mm, stress. Oh, uh, what do you call that? A hinge, though. Cute. Okay. Uh oh, you're supposed to add water. That's not gonna be happening. Or maybe it has to shake well. Oh, and you need that key to open up the box. What is going on here? Oh my goodness, I didn't know that it concerned water. Here they are. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this without. You take out the thing. You put that in there. I guess the water goes in, and then I think there's some, there's something in there. Stop! Don't peel yet. Fill to the top with water. I don't know what's in this little paper bag, but I'm assuming it dissolves in water. I just hope there's no accessory in there. Let's skip that step and just go to the baby. So this is like a bunny. It has translucent hair. It's got a cloud skirt on. It's really cute. Okay, I guess this is its tail. And then it has glasses and it has a cute purse. These are really, really cute. No wonder they cost so much money. And then I really like this cloud sticker too. Just don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I guess this thing also works as a stand, because it's got a stand peg there. But what would you do with that? Can you flip it around? Yeah, I don't know what you do with this. Maybe it's in the instructions. It shows that you just do this. Oh, and it shows you that this thing. I guess you peel off all this, and then you use this as a purse. I don't think that interests me. This I'm really happy about. It's really cute. Okay, let's put it on the shelf. It's got big ears. Do you think they're all gonna be this big? Sorry if you'd like to see all of the foam and water action in 60 seconds. Let's open up this one 
and see what we're missing out on. I think they, I think they're scented. Maybe some are scented. Bust the thing open. Oh, this one isn't in a plastic bag, and it looks so much like the one that I got, except it's a mouse. And then I don't know if it's on this checklist or not. It kind of looks like this one. But yeah, I don't know. It must be this one. Or maybe it's a new one. We'll never know. Let's move on. Another one. I'm really not into gimmicky toys. Mattel doesn't always do gimmicky toys. And that's what I like about them. They have old fashioned kind of play toys. And that is what I like best. So I hope you're not too disappointed that I'm just... Oh yeah, I probably should have gone through them and told you which ones that I really want. We get this one. And it is a panda bear, I'm assuming. I really like it, it's black and white. It's got a cloudy skirt on again and it also has black translucent hair. I love that part. And they're really cute, the arms move. Yeah, I like them. And then we get a black strap for the purse, or bag, or whatever it is. And then in here, whoa, look at its tail. That's its tail. The tails are a bit much. Maybe I don't need them. Its accessory is this biker vest. Look at that tail back on. It's got even more accessories. And this one comes with tails not staying in. Oh, the tail snaps and you have to snap it in. Jacket, shoes, and tail. What do we see in its eyes? Lightning bolts, clouds for eyebrows. They're really cute. I guess this is why they cost as much as they do. Okay, I guess you can see that in there. And then I get another cloud sticker. Is there like a hidden message on there? I wonder what you're supposed to do with that. Okay, I will um, save my last big one and start opening some of these smaller ones and see what these are all about. Oh, whoops. I think, I think some of them are scented. This one I just busted open. I don't know if you're supposed to save this or not. I, I really cracked it, so I guess not. And then look at this one. That is plump and cute. And that's its bum. And it has the same kind of, exactly the same kind of tail. So you could probably swap it with some of the other ones, and I'm assuming it stands on its head. And it comes with these things. Again, you can use this platform as a stand. That's an awfully big stand, though. I don't think I need that. It's standing on its head. I don't know what you're supposed to do with this. Maybe you're not supposed to break that outer shell. We're about to find out. Yep, I broke it. So you are supposed to be able to reuse the plastic packaging. It's so fragile. Here are all the ones that you can collect from, I think, two different series because I've got two different faces going on here. I broke this, but let's face it, I'm not going to use this little purse anyway. So hopefully that stuff can be recycled and this little keychain thing. I can't imagine what I would do with this. And I don't think I need the mess stands. Let's open another one of these in a different color and let me be more careful. Okay, that's how you're supposed to open it. And then you crack, pop that open. It gives it a nice pop, I like that. And then inside, I've got this one. They all seem to lay in different positions. That's cool, so that's its little peg hole on the bottom. And then you can see its cute little face and they're clouds. They are very eastery, I have to say. And then its tail is exactly the same. Except, I don't know, it's exactly the same, even the same translucent tail. I'm thinking these are from the same family, and that is why they're in pink. Let's take a look at that checklist again. Oh, right, I did, got a different colored one. We wanted to make sure, we wanted to see if they were different from the last time. It is a complete different series. I don't know if they have rares. Oh, they do have common and rare. And 
and I don't know how I'm supposed to tell. I don't even know where these came from. This one is blue. This is common. And then that one on its head was from the other list, and it's blue and common. I have a feeling all of these are going to be common because I got them from a closeout kind of store. Okay, so I'm just busting it open like this. <laughs> this one's a little, a little plump puppy, cloudy, cute. That's its bum. Oh, it's a porker. Kind of looks like a piggy, a piggy pug. Okay, it has a different colored tail with a different translucent tail clip in black this time. It's got black details. That is a porker. Pink stand black clip. Have to figure out what we're going to do about those later. It's got a cookie next to it. It's um, pleasantly special. It's pleasantly something. There it is again. Let's put it on the shelf. I'm not setting up the diorama as nicely as I would have wanted this time, but the pictures that I'm going to put on Instagram will be especially cute, so don't you worry. Okay, then we have this little mouse one. They're very, very plump and very, very cute. It's from the Pink series, Pink-tailed series. Oh, and it smells like... It's, it's, it smells like it's bringing back memories of, like, the dentist or something like that. Some kind of trickery that they trick the kids into enjoying something that's not fun. And it has the same checklist. And it's from the Windy Way. They have different places that they're from. Looks like I have a lot from the Windy Way. They're the ones with the pink tails. Let's uh, get this other one open. Oh. oh, it's a yellow one. And it's a very bunny one. So we're thinking of Easter again. It's like an Easter chicken. Yeah, this is a sunshine bunny, and it's also common. Translucent orange tail clip. Show you, get a, get a good look at its bum first. And it's kind of a duck. It's a very, a duck chicken. No, a duck bunny. So it's very, very Eastery. Cute, 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 cloudy, sunshine, cloudy, cute, cute. All right, it does look like this other one that we got too. It looks like a mini version of that. Let's open more of these. They're pretty cute. Are they worth three dollars each? I don't know. I wonder how much. Oh, they're worth six dollars each. This one definitely smells like grapes. And we've gotten this one before, but it's in a different color, and it's purple. Kind of reminds me of a snail. It might be that hair that looks like antenna. It might be the position it's in. It might be how it's bum, and it looks like it has slimy legs. Purple hair clip. Purple clip and tail. Clip that in. Back here. Clip it into place. Bushy, curly hair. Tail, wink, wink, very, very springy, very fun, very weird colors. See how they look? <laughs> I'm not sure if this one smells. The purple one like that is hot. It's not sizzling hot, which would be the other one. But yeah, I think I think we we got one that was hot. All right, let's open up another one of these. How many do I have? Oh, it's another super Eastery one. I knew that these were the perfect Easter toy. And it is a translucent chicken. Pink translucent sparkly yellow legs. It comes with a pink tail and a pink clip. And I forgot to look at what series it was. But there's a picture of it there. There's the clip color. Is this even a different checklist? No, it's from that same checklist. It's also one of the hot ones, so it's not common. I think when I was buying these, I was looking at the codes. I'm gonna put it inside the Cave Club egg. It fits really nicely in there. Suitable. I've got two more of these and one more big one. We'll save the big one. Here. The end. And this one is the bunny in another color. Yeah, super Eastery. This was definitely a good Easter video choice. They're cute. I think I definitely prefer the bigger ones. And maybe I don't like the tails. Maybe they're better without the tails in them. I don't know. Maybe they take up too much space. Maybe, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Maybe some of them are rare. They're slippery. They're pretty cute, I guess. The different expressions, same old. That was a light pink hook. Look at all of the different colors. I'm finding them on the floor and they're all different colors. And they're all very Eastery colors. Very interesting. I'm glad we're getting a nice mix though. Okay. Oh! This isn't the right way to open them. Oh good, we get a different mold. We get like a penguin sliding, sliding on its belly. Cloudy. And, oh, and it smells more florally, and it comes with a light pink clip. Let it be a rare, come on, let it be a rare. Oh, look at this kitty. I would have liked to get that kitty one. It's a nice Easter color. Uh, this one is a penguin on its belly. It is very common, and it's right there. They have names, I should have been telling you their names. Oh, this, this one smells funny. Like, a cross between candies and flour. It's kind of sickening. But here it is with its tail on it. It's a bushy tail. It, they kind of look like they're pooping out her fur, to tell you the truth. It has been kind of uncomfortable at where I was sticking the tail into these. I have to say. Right, here they all are. Be sure to check out Too Hunky on Instagram where you can see me have a nice dioramic display. It'll look definitely better than what you saw here. Oh, my goodness, I'm not finished yet. But all of that stuff is still applicable. Definitely worth three dollars. The big ones anyway. I wonder what that foam action is really like. Oh yeah, we got a different one. So no doubles. It is the same mold as that other one though, unfortunately. Panda bear. But it's pearly and translucent, so it's a super good one. And I should probably should have been checking their rarities. Came with a baby blue handle. And let's check out the fun accessories we have in here. We've got a blue curly tail, translucent blue peg. It moves. Oh. Oh, I just got some of these in Cave Club. And it's a duck. Look at this. Flexible. Put this on. It's a life preserver. It comes with shoes and a life preserver. And they're kind of like rubber boots. They match the beak though, I think. Okay. That is what this one looks like dressed up. I love the translucent hair. And even this guy is translucent. That's cool. Look how sad they look. Cute. Okay, I like the big ones. I don't love the small ones, but I do like them. They're fun. They're cute. I would definitely like to get more of these. I feel bad that I don't have her accessories. All right, I hope you, I hope you had fun. I hope I didn't forget and I hope you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, well, happy Easter. Well, there's been lots more Easter videos, I hope. Uh, stay tuned for the end. I'll let you know if any of these are rare or not. Uh oh, okay. Let's see what I got here. Bunny, blue, common. Uh, mousy one. Do I have to find another checklist? This panda one is common. Uh, bunny one is common. This must be the mouse one that we got. You just can't tell because we don't have the hat to go with it. But it's got a different color tough hair. It might be from a different series and I just... Well, I didn't have the checklist because... I guess we'll, we'll never know because I don't know if they're from the same checklist or not. Maybe I'll know. I'll have to tell you on Instagram if I ever figure it out. And then we know that that's common. We've got the translucent one, um, Bluesy Kitty. And that one is common as well. And one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's it. All common, apparently. Unless... This is the mousy one that we got, and then it is 
prancy and it's pleasantly special, which isn't that extraordinary. It's a lot of fun. This is my Cave Club miniature collections from a recent diorama haul. Look at all those fun things. Cave Club accessories, really cute. And this is a nice, cool shelf that I got from the dollar store. Check out my dollar store diorama hauls, for sure. Cloudies, what do you think of them?